Good afternoon. Welcome to Supply Chain University. My name is Angie Smith. What I'd like to do, first of all, again, thank you for coming and attending this in person and on the phone, and tell you a little bit about what Supply Chain University is. I am the senior program consultant responsible for the university program, which kicked off in February of this year. SCU is a monthly learning forum where we invite academia and best-in-class companies as guest speakers into PG&E um, to speak about emerging trends and supply chain topics and possible projects they've implemented in their company. By doing this, we're able to enhance the organi organization's skills, capabilities, and sustain the organizational bench strength of PG&E supply chain. So far, the program has enjoyed over 80% participation and has received very good feedback from all employees. We hope to keep that momentum up throughout the rest of the year. Today's forum will introduce an exciting new project where my counterpart, Justina Louie, will lead a team to collaborate with researchers at UC Berkeley and Climate Earth on a research project to examine the environmental life cycle impacts of products and services procured by PG&E. Justina will provide additional information on that in just a few minutes. But before we begin, I'd like to invite Des Bell, Senior Vice President and Chief Procurement Officer, to join us on stage for a few opening remarks. So uh, good afternoon and, uh, and welcome. And I'd like to particularly welcome those folks that have uh, joined us both here in the room and uh, on the conference call today from uh, outside of PG&E. Um, we're glad to have you and uh, we're, we're really excited. I, I'm personally very excited about the work that we're embarking upon here today and that you're, uh, you're going to learn about in terms of our green supply chain program and particularly as it relates to um, greenhouse gas reduction, particularly carbon footprint, uh, footprinting of our supply chain and uh, looking for opportunities to drive improvements in that regard. So um, I want to just take a couple of minutes to talk about what we've been doing in PG&E um, in the last couple of years. Uh, some of you may, may be aware of this, some maybe not, but a couple of years ago uh, in PG&E we launched a green supply uh, chain program and the intent of that was uh, to begin to work with some of our key suppliers to evaluate the environmental factors associated with the products and services that we're purchasing and uh, at the same time to look for opportunities to improve the environmental performance of some of our critical suppliers. And the program started very small and over the last couple of years has really started to build a lot of momentum where not only is PG&E seeing the benefits of the, of the work we're doing in collaboration with our suppliers, but our suppliers also are, are driving improvements in both environmental performance as well as they're, they're leaning out their operations and they're driving cost out of their businesses. So it's a true win-win for the supplier and it's also obviously a win-win for PG&E. So this whole notion of greening our supply chain is, uh, from my point of view, is something that I've, I've taken very personally and I, I intend to continue to champion here at, at PG&E. On a broader basis, um, also uh, I guess about a year and a half or, go, uh, or so ago, PG&E uh, with 15 other uh, of the biggest uh, electric utilities, investor-owned utilities in the U.S. created a a, an alliance that's known as the Electric Utility Industry Sustainable Supply Chain Alliance. And the intent of that group really is, it's a nonprofit group, it's come together for really two purposes. One is to uh, identify best practices from an environmental point of view that uh, the industry can adopt, and also to develop voluntary consensus standards that the, uh, the individual members of the alliance, as well as any other utilities that have an interest in this space, we can uh, potentially adopt with our, within our own procurement practices. And PG&E has been very actively involved in, in the alliance, and indeed we have begun to embed in our request for proposal, as an example, green criteria that we're expecting uh, suppliers to PG&E to uh, adopt as part of uh, how they operate and how we work together. The Alliance, uh, a number of months ago, established a three-year strategic plan, and that's, this is really the, uh, the nexus of today's conversation because we have collectively determined that there's one area in particular we want to focus on, and that is on GHG, and particularly from a carbon perspective. How do we improve the carbon footprint, first of all, of our own supply chain operations? Uh, so each of us runs distribution centers. We, we manage a lot of transportation and logistics. You're going to see probably in, in this afternoon's 
conversation that one of the major drivers of, uh, from an emissions point of view and from a CO2 point of view is transportation. So uh, we've been very much focused internally in PG&E and how do we address the whole question around CO2 emissions uh, as it relates to our own operations internally. What we're doing with the Alliance uh, is we're also now starting to look at uh, our suppliers and how do we address their own supply chain operations from an environmental point of view. And most importantly, uh, the individual categories that we source, the products and services that we're purchasing, what are the life cycle input, uh, uh, impacts of those products. And the intention of the work that we're uh, beginning to do with UC Berkeley uh, and, and other partners that you'll be hearing about this afternoon is really to answer where are the opportunities as it relates to the products and services we purchase as utilities, where if we uh, focus on them, we can really move the needle as it relates to environmental performance, particularly as it relates to carbon. So um, the Alliance is very interested in this work. Obviously in PG&E, we're, we're, we're pioneering it, and I think you're gonna see this afternoon, we really truly are pioneering something. It's a first for the industry. So it's something, particularly for the PG&E folks in the audience here, it's a, a great example from my perspective of what leading looks like. And for those of us that are supply chain professionals, what a leading supply chain organization should aspire towards. So again, I'm really excited about what we're embarking upon here, and I'm really looking forward to seeing the results of it. So uh, for those of you that we're gonna be working with and making this happen, it's all about results. I know you're as, much, you're as focused on that as we are. Um, we're not here to greenwash, we're here to drive real performance improvement in our supply chain, and you certainly have my support and support of the PG&E senior leadership team to, uh, to make this happen. So again, welcome. Um, I know you're gonna enjoy the rest of the afternoon as I am, so thanks for coming. And uh, with that, back to Angie. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Des. Thank you, Des.